16 years since Holes came out. Yeah. What has changed from then to now? A lot. A lot has changed. I'm much taller. Yes. Uh, my hair is a little shorter than it once was, uh, but the legacy of that that film and that, those characters still carry on till today. Can you believe that 16 years has gone by and it's still becoming a new movie yeah. for some kids? How does that make you feel being a part of such a huge franchise of a movie? It's, it's an amazing thing. I think every actor uh, always wants to be able to at least have something to leave behind. I got a chance to knock that out very early on in my career. Uh, you know, to have a character like Hector Zeroni who is going to live on, I think, for generations is an amazing thing to have on my resume. And I couldn't ask for anything more. Is there a memory that stands out to you still to this day that you always look back to of that experience? You know, the, the premiere is when it really happened for me. I didn't, true story, I didn't know I had actually had the role until two weeks into filming the movie. I thought I was still auditioning. <laughs> Because, you know, I, I came from doing television and things like yeah. that. So we're on set for two weeks straight and I'm still thinking it's audition mode. So I'm doing my, you know, I'm locking in and I'm like, oh, wait, we're, we're really filming. I had to pull my mom to the side at 13. Like, wait, mom, I'm, I'm him. <laughs> like, I'm, we're really doing this. Uh, that's one of the most memorable moments for me was to realize that I had accomplished a dream. I just wanted to be an actor and I had done television, but my very first major motion picture and it fought, fought, fell underneath the Disney uh, umbrella. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so also we have to ask this. Everything is having a reboot or a reunion or anything. Do you think that with Disney Plus being a platform, there's a possibility to one, either have a reunion of the show or, or like of the movie or possibly make it into some sort of a show or reboot of a movie? I think it would be amazing to get the original D10 boys back together. Who wouldn't want to see Zero and Squid and Zigzag and Armpit and X-Ray, Caveman? Who wouldn't want to see all those guys come back together? Uh, a reunion special would be really cool. I, I think that'd be amazing, whether it, it's a sequel to the film or whether it's a series. That would be, I think everybody out there would be super happy. So everyone would want to sing the song, I think, again, too. Everyone enjoyed the Digga soundtrack. I feel, everyone enjoyed the whole soundtrack. Amazing. People love the whole soundtrack, man. Jesus, that was a great, a lot of great music. It was a lot of great, and it's just something that I feel like I remember the feeling of watching that movie for the first time, as well as seeing those like little snippets come up on Disney Channel. Mm -hmm. It's still fresh this day. Yeah, man. Great but times. obviously, you're on to bigger and better things. Is there anything specifically now that you're working on that you would love to share with everybody out there that's a Holes fan? Um, you know, I have a clothing brand called Slick Living. It's been going for eight years. Streetwear brand that's inspired by going out there in the world and accomplishing your goals and never taking no for an answer. Two years ago, we started the sister company called Glam, which stands for Goddess Living Amongst Men. It's a female empowerment uh, company inspired by my little sister and my mother my little sister is 15 years younger than me and for me and my sister to have a conversation and she's letting me know the differences that we don't see in the world as a man really opened my eyes to a lot of stuff so I'm thankful to have a baby sister in this world who's very transparent and can tell me about things I would have never paid attention to as a man living in uh, you know in the US or in the world uh, we have a lot of great projects coming for the video game aspect I'm working on a show with caffeine te uh, caffeine TV so I'm excited about that and um, new film actually uh, me and Denzel Whitaker, who you may have seen him in Black Panther as a young Forrest Whitaker. Uh, we have a project coming, so be on the lookout for that. Amazing. Thank you so much for talking with me. This was awesome. No, thank thank you. you. Thank you.